already. Just recording it as well. Well, finally, more likely today, it's like, <laughs> finally, my, it's not my internet, I must admit. I cannot put it down to the internet. Today it was because I've got a very old laptop. Yeah. I thought I'd, uh, I meant it well to reboot it <laughs> before we start, but it took so long, like over half an hour until wow. it rebooted, yeah. I think, all my thousand documents and tabs, which I always have got open. <laughs> so the next time I need to give it much more time in advance if I try to um. reboot it. Did you re did you shut everything down before you rebooted? Yes, well, for me, rebooting it is shutting everything down because it's uh, it does it automatically and then it actualizes everything and then it started it starts again. Right. And if I don't do it for a few days, like two three days, when I then restarted, this whole rebooting mm. and actualizing of the programs takes a long time, obviously. Yeah. Well, yeah. I have to count in even more time than I did today for the next time. Yeah. But you're here. That's the most important thing. You're here. Exactly. So, hello. Whole... How are you feeling on this Saturday for the beginning of our sixth circle? today i know isn't it six circles we've got only well yeah this is the the start of that and we've only got three circles left so yeah yep. so this, this is we are on the home stretch yeah <laughs> which, is, which is really nice and, and at the same time realizing that there's you know it's been very nice to have the continuation of doing something um, regularly, um, that in something that's you know the commitment to something regularly has been yeah it's a thing that's been very important I think mm -hmm. in my own changing and my own state of being yeah yeah I'm so very glad exciting. to say that because yeah I also feel that the commitment is so important and being open to receive and. Just yeah. gifting ourselves what is coming up through the space which we commit to. Because for me, it feels like I'm just gifting it to myself, the new miracles, the new awarenesses which come up. And so, yeah, <laughs> I feel happy. Yeah. It's for me like yeah, my and, own uh, birthday present for myself. Yes. Well, Christmas present. <laughs> Definitely a Christmas present coming in and it's originally yeah. uh, that was the intention to do the challenge isn't it to yeah. gift ourselves this present for christmas so that we can be reborn in the new year yes to be reborn for the sense. new year and it's like rebirthing this new uh, consciousness which is coming yeah. in for me it's mm -hmm more like broadening my own different senses and yeah like my reception antennas and there's different power centers which are, are activating as well like yesterday it was very potent with the spoon yeah, yeah. and heart and the third eye and in, it's just and having it so clear as well what mm. is happening i mean it's always there but only when we commit ourselves and have got the time to really be close to what is happening, can we really be clear? Yeah. Oh gosh, this is really activated now. I'm like birthing this egg of the new consciousness and and by like having this practice through this Birgini, so, or like yesterday, sharing this meditation of how to activate the three flames, this feels very, alive and like i'm really in control of my life mm. and my resources and for me yeah this is a very massive gift and i don't think that happens without the commitment without the sharing uh, without staying really close with those energies the symbols what is emerging so thank you once again <laughs> Thank you <laughs> for, for suggesting it when, when we were going to just leave things till the new year and all of a sudden we were drawn. 
we had to do it and that was the way it was and so mm -hmm. it's been really great and yeah I think I, I think that's what's really yeah I think we just underestimate just how um how powerful these things are yeah. I think when you when, when you every time you challenge you don't know what's going to happen you don't know what's going to transpire and then the things that are unexpected start transpiring which is mm -hmm. so so interesting I mean that the last thing I thought that I would have this connect understanding wealth in connection to this and so I had a real opening moment and um it's been really uh yeah it's been a, a blessing to have the space with you and chat with you and play <laughs> this energy play which has been very different yeah it's been great it's like a whole you know the side of me that I wouldn't let be out is being out yeah mm. I really quite like the the wacky side that are you always yeah <laughs> yeah the yeah, wacky the let the freak flag fly I'm so glad you say <laughs> playful and for me it's like the weird is the new in is my motto anyway <laughs> And I know, but when I used to do reflexology a long time ago, people, I mean, when we, when I was in reflexology, many people didn't even know what it was. They had no idea. There was no, no very, very few people doing alternative in, in commas health uh, sort of stuff. So people really thought I was bizarre when I touched people's feet. <laughs> they thought that I was just, no, hold on. This is really weird. And so, and then of course, when I, when I told people that I was, that I did tarot and I certainly told people in the city about mm -hmm. doing tarot, mm -hmm. oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Then, mm -hmm. I know, but the interesting thing is, was Andrew turned around and said, well, let me tell you what the tarot does. <laughs> and he would explain the tarot to them. And he just said, it's just a tool. It's mm -hmm. just a way of getting you to engage. And the people would then look and go, Oh wow! <laughs> oh, that's what you do. But he would he would step in quite quickly and say, "No, this is not spooky. This is not any witchy mm -hmm. stuff. This is about something quite deep." Of course, he probably went home and didn't say think too much about when he was talking to me. But he was really good at at letting people know that there's something else there that's a different system. And then my his his father said to me, he said, "Sherry, don't worry. One day." Everybody is going to have the ability to actually measure what you're talking about. And what are we getting now? We're getting the measurements starting to yeah, happen. Yeah, like the courses, the Resonance Foundation, the whole yeah. scientist. Yeah. Like Nassim yeah. Harim is saying, like, vacuum may be with you and stuff like that. I mean, <laughs> there really is a rise now in the major consciousness. And this is my dream, actually. And that's where I feel finally actually i'm at the right time in the right place on mother earth yeah, yeah. Otherwise, i never felt like what am i doing here <laughs> you know most of my life and in this well, we transitioning time. Yeah. time this is where i feel excited that finally mm -hmm. all the different threads from all different areas and walks of life making sense it's like this like it comes together in unity yeah. And and they'll feel I'm exactly at the right place. It's like especially this weaving metaphor, like of bringing together and weaving all different traditions, threads, perspectives, the mind and the heart and the womb. And it's this integral approach. And even further than integral mm. is inclusive. It's, uh, mm. All comes together. And my dream is, of course, like that not a man have to step up and to explain others yeah in a logical way why it makes sense but that this is so acceptable that yeah. you no longer have to divide like oh, okay i have to change my communication style to make it understood in the majority corporate world no <laughs> i think that we are the right time so it's widely acceptable all different voices all different forms of expressions and that's really this unity, the unity of all the colors, all yeah. the gifts can shine and 
And for the first time I feel, oh my God, I came here for a reason, like to bring all those different colors where I felt like I don't belong anywhere. It was yeah. just part of my initiation to integrate all those different um, talents, uh, different senses of perceiving the world, different experiencing, different perspectives. Sometimes it's totally intuitive and mystical. And other times it's totally mind-based. Like when I'm reading about astrophysics, then I'm totally like from the logical mind. And this is also fine. So it's not just those boxes, but just opening up your consciousness to everything, yeah. which is the all diversity of life, which it offers. And, and this is fun. This is fun. <laughs> it is fun. It is fun. And, and, you know, I think I think it is all of us that felt like misfits that didn't think that, you know, really felt mm -hmm. estranged from 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 the, the normal state of the world, so to speak. Now in a space where it's we're not being burnt at the stake <laughs> mm -hmm. for having a different a different set of beliefs. And you and I are listening to the Resonance Foundation and, and it's really quite interesting about paying attention to all the kinds of beliefs that we have you know and where and where we can choose our own and it's okay to choose what we want to believe and what we perceive and 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 always to have a check out where are we still holding some of the beliefs that might belong to someone else and not our own so being conscious but we're the kinds of people that have started that process whereas a long time ago it was more we we didn't have i think with the computers opening up the world all of a sudden people kind of could get together and see how easy it is to be like the, your group your tribe your yeah you know, all of us that were starting to connect together are able to do that. and so we started to form in a way a collective power yeah. is going to allow things the incremental power to bring awareness to to the world and at Absolutely. the same time, yeah that's why i love the world wide web like yesterday yeah. i listened to another report by an astrologer by some german where he was very detailed he talked about uh, this uh, saturn uh, jupiter conjunction we started in 1988 where yeah. There was like the Berlin Wall came down, the World Wide Web came uh, about in this time, mm -hmm. and it goes until 2032. This yeah. high age of uh, the like where the spirituality came about, where um, people around the world coming more and more together, like the soul family, and there are no no borders anymore. Yeah, and you can can have access to any kind of information and. And I loved it because I was from the very beginning, I was the first one on Facebook. I was the first one on all social media. And <laughs> because I've seen the, the positive side of it, like, because me as a world citizen, I need to contact to all people around the world because I moved around so many times. And, and for me, that gives such great possibility to connect with people like visiting now yeah. in London, me in Germany and Shelley, who is always on like in America. And I love it. And of course, with the race consciousness, you always have to be aware of the shadow sides, which everything brings. Of yeah. course, there's like big question marks with this AI, like um, artificial intelligence and that the robots are going to take over and everything. Of course, this is a challenge, but there were always challenges with every uh, all inventions. And that's why yeah. it's even more important that conscious human beings, awakened human beings, uh, are in control either of technology, of money, of resources. Because an awakened human being, there we are again, awake, grow up, show up. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna always do the highest possible for all human beings. Yeah. 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 Uh, and and then we don't have to be uh, in fear like the technologists are gonna take over. No, because if it's in the hands of responsible beings, it 
always going to serve the good. And I'm very optimistic because I see more and more people waking up that connect worldwide. We are getting more and more around the world and I see it in a positive way. And at the same time, not being naive, always being very conscious uh, where I get my information, with which people I surround myself, yeah? I yeah, yeah. set the right boundaries. This is always very important as a sovereign human being, isn't it? Um, to yeah. do that. And and I think that I think that that comes down always to personal responsibility. And you know, yes, there'll be AI, but we've also got to recognize if you know part of it is how much of our data do we give away. How much are we, you know, we have to be very aware of all the things that come with that yeah. and try and navigate that in a, in a very responsible way and, 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 and for, for what it really is. It's a tool. It's a tool to get to, to, for you to have higher learning or it's a tool to help you experience life differently. You know, it'll help people heal at some point or diagnose all sorts of things. Yeah. that it's there, there for which help you make better decisions in it and you know if you if you if you had a if you were ill or something like that then at least you have a decision that you can at least work with and make a you know make better choices with but we don't need to let them rule us and, we, and that's the thing we've got to watch for for ourselves personally that personal responsibility and this is, of course, the link to today's Perigini. Oh, yes. Which is the protectress. Yes. She protects us and gives us the right, like, discernment, mm -hmm. where to draw the right boundaries. She stands for justice. I don't know, should we do the genius today? Or uh, because we've got only half an hour left? How, how oh, what I, I I actually drew the cards. I drew I drew them while we were waiting because I thought, well, I'm I, we're going to go on. Your your thing will reboot, so I'm going to just do them. So I've done the, the tarot card and I've done the and I've done the the genius. So the tarot card I got was the Eight of Pentacles. And, oh, sorry, you go, you go for it. I, I I actually put it. I actually put the genius in. So I've I've done it. I've. I've Oh, great. So just briefly, that that this is the symbol, yeah, of the justice, pro like protectress, who stands for justice. The affirmation is, "I feel supported on all different levels," and you can use it when you need support in a challenging situation, or to bring justice. This is the symbol. What does, what does the genius show? <laughs> oh, you're muted. You're muted, Shireen. <laughs> <laughs> How can, but you've heard me, so that shouldn't have been muted. You were able to hear me. Uh, only until you got muted for some reason. <laughs> uh, maybe I wasn't meant to talk. <laughs> oh no i like you to talk i don't think so that's no, uh no that's joking it's joking okay we've got so that was the genius that came in mm, let's do it there we are there we are you can see it quite clearly now so I we've see got a the blue light blue light yeah yeah very big blue light um and I'm guessing blue is 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 really part of heart chakra if we think in the chakra world, and it's about higher order talking with gold over here and gold and pinky gold. So those fit more with the heart, um, you know, the love part of the heart. And we've got green under here. So we've got it's actually really beautiful because it's very pink, like an S. And mm. then you've got this sitting there. Um, I haven't balanced it yet. I just took a reading to start when I when I was thinking about it when I when I 
and justice is, is about balance yeah absolutely and this whole you know, symbol is like is balance it's balance so of all three worlds yeah, yeah very much about balance mm -hmm. And, and you know it's kind of like it and then i'm thinking about <laughs> you know, the eight you know the ballot the, the the moving around like that i'm thinking in the sense of your eye you know the three if you look at the the kinds of the ways you were talking about the the third eye the heart mm. and the uterus and there's a, there's three there's three layers there yes. so it depicts those three centers so it's so nice to see it's it's balanced in that yeah 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 very like even holding the symbol like it's balanced it's a piece itself. yeah it's very like yeah i mean they're all like free in the same length and it's just really yeah. balancing like i i can feel it energetically it's like mm. and the so, so the card we've got is this one which is uh, mm -hmm. the Eight of Pentacles. And then we have got the Eight again. <laughs> yes. The Eight yes. of Unity. Eight. Yes. Golden Earth. Yeah. So in, in the Rye Lake Tarot one, basically you can see that there's at the bottom here, it looks like they're students and they're listening to someone talking and doing studious work yeah mm -hmm. and in what what even on on the on the other pictures here they are you can see that it's almost like looking at um these ones here uh get closer if i can let's see if it'll if it'll ooh, it's not going to do it maybe i'll grab the book here you might be able to see it better there at the bottom. See, there's someone looking at the globe, looking at the outside world. Can you see? Over there, uh, there. there, there yeah, there are. there are a few people looking. Um... There, yeah. So they're looking at the world, they're looking at doing things. And at the bottom there, they're, they're, mm -hmm. they're busy doing cleaning, it looks like, they're in a bath. <laughs> oh right i hadn't noticed that they're in the bath someone's cleaning their feet That's yeah and it's almost like they're looking at, so they're being looked on over here it almost looks like a theater and people are looking down at the people on the in the, having a bath and you have in the background, people studying and being studious. Mm. And this sits on the number of the tree. It sits in the place where it's it's to do with thought mm. on the tree. And part of this says the enemy of the eight gathers the vessel, all excessive caution, lack of enterprise, hoarding or low cunning. The art is dissolving and transforming those kinds of behavior to become uh, prudence become the artistic power reforming the right focus and the artist's dedicated attention to important details so cleaning in the water is about an important detail we want to keep clean and healthy yeah um wear, wear proudly the craft worker's apron absorbed in polish and perfection in your art of your art you'll be confidently shaped the perfect forms of your need. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, really about working and 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 getting things done. It's a it's it's about doing that, but it's uh, it's more. It's not just getting it done as a plodding. It's about getting it done with inspiration. That's how and with pleasure. I mean, this is like farming. Yeah, it's like. It. It is this unifying aid again. It's like, yeah. And I think that's why the card is also called the, of the golden earth. What is the at the top? Something with golden earth. What the, what does it say on oh, the top right. of the at card? The top is called the Mercury of the Golden Earth. The Mercury of the Golden Earth, and the aid is for me like being in balance, enjoy the things when you bath, 
look after yourself. And on the right hand side, you see people going into theater, yeah. doing something like recreational arts. So being in harmony, one's... work and pleasure in harmony. Exactly. Yeah. It's, but yeah, and part of it is really about the balancing of the mind. And this is more about the, although it's a uh, pentacles is, is, is a very um, earth kind of one. It is a, it is about a lightness of it. So it's about using, using more of the creative in order to help you do the mundane. Well, that is the pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if you're going to have a need bar, to the have pleasure a... to do the, the tasks, you know, which sometimes are hard to do the work and we need the balance to, of the pleasure. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, if you're gonna have a bath, have a nice bath, you know, put some things in it and really enjoy having your bath. Yes. You're going to bath. That's, 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 that's the, what you have to do, but make sure that it's, that, that you have, that you enjoy every moment of being in that bath. Yes. So that's the balance between work and play. Yeah. So I'm already embroidering the protectress. Yeah. Me too. Nice listening. And... and now you've got to draw two cards. Uh, earth. Who have you? I have drawn today? the card of the earth today. Wow, so pentacles is earth, yes. Wow. You've got the golden earth, Mercury of the golden earth. I've got the, just the earth. But in those cards, you have to really look very deeply because there's so many details always, like the antlers on the top and, yeah. the, moon and the sun around. And again, those, those roots at the bottom. Roots at the bottom yeah. His eyes are very penetrative. They're, they make me think of a wolf's eyes. And the symbol of the heart, we had it yesterday in the wild woman. It was painted yeah. in exactly the same way with those spirals in between. Yeah, yeah. He almost looks like, actually, that looks like, he looks more owl-like to me. But that's interesting but because you say he, for me, this is definitely a woman. Mm. And yes, you're right. Looks like an owl. I can also uh, see an it, owl there. Yeah, now I can see the owl. Yeah. But those mm -hmm. eyes are, they, they just really pull me. They're amazing. Mm. Yeah, really like Amazing. an owl. Highly energetic card as well. Just by holding it and looking at it, I feel a lot of power. Power. Mm. And wisdom, like the owl. Like the all seeing eyes again. Yeah. And today we have got Berkana. All right. Berkana stands for the birch tree, for, for new beginnings. Oh, it's nice. Like a, well, it's that's good. like a spring um, a rune. But also like for love, for people falling in love, <laughs> for things blossoming. Beginning. Like yesterday you wrote so beautifully in your report like the blossom of the womb with like the flowers around your mother. Um, this is also springs from yeah, being. this kind of energy, everything that brings and blossoming and new beginnings. Beautiful. And when you put this together, the earth, new beginnings and the justice between work and play with your card of the golden earth. I like that. So it's all balancing. All things seem to be pointing to 
to bringing and putting into action things now. And then also making sure that, and justice is also about contracts. Mm -hmm. Creating the right contracts with ourselves, the right contracts with others. So. Well, it always all starts with us first. We need to have the right contracts with us, with our being and doing. <laughs> There's a dance yeah. between being and doing. And then, of course, if we are in balance within ourselves, then we can go outside with this new age coming up, age of Aquarius, and bringing pioneering projects, relationships into the world. And but of course, it always start, starts inside first to be in harmony with us first. I certainly know as, as, as a double fiery sign and almost all my life I was more action oriented. I want to save the world. I always see outside when something is not in balance and I want to help. Yeah. Yeah. But then I forgot myself <laughs> most of the times. And no wonder then I've become depressed or melancholic or nearly burned out, you know, because I'm not myself and doing myself justice. I'm not in no. balance. And then I cannot help to save the world out there. <laughs> um, it becomes just detrimental uh, to my own health. And it's a very important lesson to always centering in ourselves, in our temple, uh, bring justice there and harmony. And then when we see something in the outside world, then we can be of real help. Yeah, because yeah. we come from this full cup or not from the half full cup. <laughs> yeah yeah we have to be for, and and i think that's 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 a real that's a real struggle for mothers really to to be able to to come from a from a full cup because you're already you always have someone that you have to take care of and it, and learning to take care of yourself first and 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 not putting yourself first, because that's not, I always find when you say put yourself first, it always comes across selfish, but it's how do you, how do you become self-focused in the way that allows you to be nurtured so that you are, you are generative enough to be able to nurture somebody else? Yeah, I think self-care and self-love, it's so important and I think that has to change in society as well, that this has been considered egoistic. And like yeah. you sometimes have to fight for it, especially like you mentioned some mother and when a mother has to work, like I had most of my life until April of this year. It's the first time like I'm really just focusing on my online business, but up until that for 42 years, I had to satisfy other people's needs most yeah. of the time, which always came before my own. And that's not right that you have to even fight for this right. Uh, oh my God, I need time for myself. Now I'm focusing on the development of my business. Yeah. And that I'm feeling filled up. Yeah. It's just such a normal human need. And this is a major disbalance in the society. Well, I think evolutionary wise, we that was created that way so that we would that we would be there for our children. That was the way it was created. But it doesn't mean to say that because when, when you live in, in communities and groups, it's not so much of a problem. But as we became so isolated, it then created a problem for all of us, particularly, yeah. you know, with women. That's true. This isolation is part, of course, of patriarchal system to keep control because then you're just focused on work and being a servant yeah um, but there's again this disbalance I realized um, after I was divorced for a few years that I was actually in love with this family oriented warm culture of Morocco yeah mm -hmm. A massive family and there's always somebody around and supportive and even growing up in a communist country i always knew 
uh, that family and friends are around. So I felt in love with that. But then when I was married to a Moroccan guy, <laughs> we all even married um, in Morocco and everything, then I missed this, what people often say, egoistical part, like, but I need time for myself. Yeah, and those mm. are my boundaries. I mean, especially in the wedding night, I don't want the whole family around, hello? You know, this is something <laughs> which is totally missing there, this individualistic side. And that's why my son, he is the bridge builder, of course, um, of the future, because he is really part between different cultures. He lives with me, but of course he visits, visits Morocco as often as he can. And, and so he naturally lives that what, yeah, what didn't work for me eventually, that's why we separated. But this balance between time for yourself following your dreams, your individual talents, but yeah. also do it in a, in a loving community. And those two things are still missing in society. They're not aligned at all. You either have yeah. the one thing or you have this totally alone, make it all your own. Like the German culture is like everybody fights their own, yeah? And so both is not good. It needs to be no. in balance. And that's and that's where the communities come in, isn't it? That's where you learn to be able to 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 be part of a of a wider net, and at the same time know that people will have your back. I mean, I think this is this is it. I think part of it is really helping women recognize that you know that that we can we can be in that space if someone is struggling that we are there because then that's the, that's the advantage of the community everybody's there and if you need to go and do something they're there to look after the kids and they don't resent that because that's what they're going to do yeah? yeah and they want you to do that because they know when you come home you're going to be happy and you're going to be helping and it's just really about having that about that balance to be able to to live fully in whatever way and ha you can have both you can have both worlds it's just that you need help with the both worlds you can't and the do it alone of course it starts with the awareness that we both it's a human right to have both worlds yeah yeah it starts with our own awareness first like i have to suffer many years to realize that yeah, this is the time where it's my perfect right to say, I want to have my space for myself to indulge pleasure and everything. And then it's also my right to have support of my family, you know, and, and mm. to, to allow it. It's like, it's like not codependent, but what people start to call like interdependent. Um, mm. We need relationship and dependence on each other, but not in this really, oh, I need it. Uh, it's interdependent, um, need the new world for that. And, and that's totally okay. Yeah, and we all need that. And it starts with the awareness and then the structures in the society need to change as well, to allow for that as well. Um, because so many young women in Morocco, they're very helpful and they've got such strong knit feminine uh, support system yeah. But they are not encouraged to go and live out their dreams. No. This is not okay. Yeah, like in this, uh, it's on paper, they have got the same rights like the men, but in the society, they are not leaving the houses after no. six o'clock. They are not going in the cafe. They cannot really have a, a normal life in the society. And this is not okay. This is not okay. There's still yeah. lots to be done, <laughs> lots. And and those countries are going, you know, and in Morocco is still quite, probably quite a quite a, one of the, the the you know those countries that are actually, you know, Arabic countries that have opportunity much more than than say Saudi or any of those countries. So yeah, can you imagine all the women in those countries that are going to need <laughs> need to have help? Oh and, yeah, um, big time. Yeah, to be able to be met. Yeah, it's big it's time. a really interesting because a lot of marriages in the long run were were really 
yeah, they were commodity marriages rather than 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 marriages that were there for to to enhance to enhance our lives. They were there for commodity more than anything else. Absolutely. And in the in the majority of society, is still the place. That's exactly yeah. the same. If you go even outside of big city. There are analphabets, like 70% of society are analphabets. So obviously mm -hmm. they are not aware about any kind of rights and they still have got four wives minimum. They cannot read and write. And this is the most liberated Muslim country in the world, Morocco. Uh, yeah. Actually by rights, I mean, I've written, uh, like I read so many books about Morocco and I actually lived there sometimes for a few months always. And I, I married then everything. I love Morocco. But then I see in the inside how it works. And, and it's shocking, shocking, like how backwards they are. And this is the furthest development Muslim country. Mm. It's like there's, there's so much to be done. And then not even walking far here in Germany. I mean, women have got rights to vote for 100 years. If you really speak about equal pay, uh, to have the equal rights like the men, we are still very far behind. So yeah. we have don't have to look at other countries. It's like here it's still quite a lot to be done. It's just different structures which are in place. But we are far it's from there in freedom. words, but not in that, not it's not throughout. Yeah. Yeah, and speaking of the justice today of the protectress like far from it, far from it. Yeah. Still lots to be done. <laughs> but you know, we will, the, the people that are going to get that us there will be the people will be, will be us really. It'll be us that will be getting them there because that's we're the ones that have to step up and to look at the world differently and 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 make our way. And it's up to us to be able to be those successful people that can do this for them. Everyone that's listening here, this is our our individual responsibility, you know, to to be able to help create this world for all of us. Yeah. This is so important what you say, like that we have to walk the talk and slowly create that what we wish for in the world, like reweave the re parts, yeah. uh, and retell this new story, like. That's so true. And it's already four o'clock, <laughs> almost four o'clock. Wow, all right. And well, I have right. to rush off to my painting lesson. Oh, very nice. Oh, well, think okay. It's well, time for our yeah. final words for today. I think the final words for me is, is really about being aware of, of what we're doing. Um, so to try and be light in what we do so so be be enthusiastic with whatever you're doing so have a look and just think how can i bring play into what i'm doing so if you're writing an essay what can i do to make it playful what can i do to so that i get to bring some energy that's slightly different and it's not so heavy and then we bring a balance to the heaviness and if it's if we're feeling a bit off balance what do we where do we bring the the slight heaviness into the balance, into the lightness so that we go into that balanced state. So that's where my thing is. How do we bring play into what we do today? And I'm gonna think about what play can I bring into my uh, my, my Burigini today? Mm -hmm. What does she tell me? That will bring more balance into my
Yeah. Nice message. And yours? Have you got one? Well, I always come like with what gives me the uh, biggest joy. <laughs> so it's very much what you just said. Um, yeah. So we're both going for the same thing today. Yes. Yes, exactly. What brings me the biggest joy or pleasure in what I'm just doing at the moment. And this is exactly the, the high vibration or the light that we can shine forth into the world. Yeah. What brings me the biggest joy? Yeah. And I'm always amazed how the world changes straight away. If I come for my biggest joy, yeah. then I can even look at these hardships and imbalances and injustice and still come from a loving heart. Because I still feel up. I feel happy. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. And it's bringing how to bring love into all experiences. Yeah, and, and I also think there's there's something about um, you allow the freedom for people to find their own their own way. Yeah, and we mm. don't feel so responsible for doing their way. So yeah. that allows an absolute freedom to to be able to give that to give you know isn't that in a way the ultimate love give someone the freedom to be who they need to be and mm. not be attached not be attached to whether they do you know not to be attached whether they do this right or wrong but just to give them the freedom to express and be there and and uh, you know and if you're in that space they normally are their best selves they normally try to be because you are doing you're giving the space for them to be that. You're giving them the opportunity to be that. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's so true. Mm. So you're gonna you're gonna finish your painting that you that you started last week? Oh, I don't think it will be finished. It will be a more long-term project. It took me like four sessions for my right. four Siberian spirits, and this time I'm painting. My love, love man, it. my attract, my man I like to attract uh, with, from Kazakhstan by these mountains where I always imagine to live. And mm -hmm. <laughs> so it will be a, a, a more long term project, which I'm going to continue today. <laughs> but I don't think well, I, will, I will finish it today. And they will only start to finish when things are, uh, when the, the, when the action is happening and you can see it yeah like when it, uh, we were getting with our with our gold embroidery how all of a sudden things started to finish in different ways at different times and as each one went was because of where we each were and it kind of was the journey which was so nice to kind of experience yeah yeah so true and that's exactly what, what you just said it's the magic lies and just opening up the space and then let's let the divine do this thing like that's how we sometimes magically uh, become awarenesses and mm. things take a form by just simply be <laughs> and yeah. observe like you said like being with each other like just let the other person just just the way they are with all the experiences and it just happens it's like by magic <laughs> mm. But Absolutely. you cannot say like, I want to finish it by then, or it has to look exactly the same way. It's like, then it doesn't work. We can just no. open the space and observe and be open to receive, to see what is happening, but mm -hmm. not trying to pull or control. Yes. And yes. that's a skill actually, it's a lifelong practice. And 
I'm aware that it's not always this easy because sometimes the ego comes in the way and like, I want it. <laughs> Ideally, I want to have the soul partner by end of this month. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know that. We know that well. We both know that very well. But yeah, it. I think, I think it's learning to really just become comfortable. Mm -hmm. oh, did you send the, I wanted to just ask while you're still here before you go and switch everything off. You know the goddess that we were talking about, the snake handler? Did you put it on? <gasps> oh my Can God, you... no. But thank you that you reminds me of it because yeah. I've got this great astrological report. I wanted to send it. I, I will put it forward to you via email because I received the explanation in an email. So I think I will send Thank it. You. Thank it's you. It's about this yeah. officicus, the, the serpent god. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for reminding me. Thank you. A interesting name, officicus, almost. Something like that. Sounds a bit yeah. official, like judgment. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep my head goes one way okay so have a lovely painting day thank you, and we'll see you tomorrow have a lovely rest of Saturday everybody as well and um, it's 30 yeah so it's going to be a big day tomorrow isn't it tomorrow the 13 to 13 of the 13 I think there's a it's actually today as well today is already the 12th the 12th and we we might want to do a meditation tomorrow. It's like for three days, it's a very sacred portal where healers, magicians, light workers come together and pray. Pray mm -hmm. for this new light consciousness to enter the world. So it's we are already in the midst of it. Of course, today it's already a sacred number, 1212. And it goes for three days to go to all different time zones around the world. And also with the uh, big solstice um, on our Monday. On Monday, um, yes. That's going to be when the real thing happens. Kickoff day. Yeah. Okay. All yeah, right, so thank you for thank reminding you. me. I will send it over to you. And many blessings pass. to everybody out there as well. And... See you tomorrow. I'm going to see everyone. Thank you for all being with us. I know you're going to be watching later, but it's so nice that you're here with us. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Good. I will have to rush off. Bye bye. Bye bye.